Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for the latest and the greatest in boxing. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. A lot of people wanted me to talk about King Kong. King Kong, they got you on me Luis Ortiz and why he's mad you guys seen the title you clicked on the video and I'm gonna to explain to you why Luis King Kong Ortiz is angry with the Joshua situation now I tell you guys all the time the great thing about YouTube as a platform is it's almost like a diary if you will a journal if you do things like me cover a sport and you use the platform then it's, it's, it's a form of record keeping, like the diary of Anne Frank. So later on in life, someone can see that and, and understand what she went through. You can understand what was happening at that time if you go visit some of those older videos. Now, I did a video four months ago before the fight happened. We just got a great heavyweight fight. Anthony Joshua, he was tested versus a 41-year-old Vladimir Klitschko. Legend in the game, him and his brother done legendary things. And four months ago, I made the video explaining to you guys, and this all relates to present day, that Luis King Kong Ortiz was supposed to be in line for the winner of Joshua Klitschko. With no matter who it was, whether it was Klitschko, whether it was Joshua, he was supposed to be the number one mandatory for that belt. We obviously seen the fight. It ended in the 11th round. Joshua prevailed, and he's the winner. Now they're talking about him fighting Klitschko in a rematch, depending on Klitschko when he gets back from vacation, if he wants to pursue the rematch, because there was a rematch clause that he can enact, or possibly fighting Q Brad Pulitz. And Luis King Kong Ortiz and team, they're like, no, 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 wait, we were supposed to be in line, and this is why we stepped aside, right? We stepped aside so Joshua Klitschko could happen, and now you're talking about basically other options you're talking about Tyson Fury post fight Anthony Joshua and I really like Joshua I'm just this is facts I keep it a buck and post fight Wilder was in the crowd you didn't really hear Joshua call call out Wilder the only heavyweights I really remember him mentioning post fight in a good or bad way Joshua mentioned Tyson Fury he said hey let's let's have the biggest British uh, boxing fight and I don't think Tyson Fury was in the crowd Wilder was I didn't hear them mention Wilder he, he kind of talked about it like, oh, we'll see what happens. But he didn't really call him out like he called out Tyson Fury. And then they said, what do you think about your American fans? And he said, shout out to Cannon Briggs. But there's not many heavyweights mentioning Luis Ortiz as if he doesn't even exist. And he's a great fighter. And more importantly, he's ranked and he's the number one. Now, the picture you see on screen now is the current WBA rankings, right? Let me give you guys a backstory. This, well, first of all, the rankings just came out, the updated rankings, May 12th. And who do you see at number one? Luis Ortiz. He is the number one. Klitschko is rated at number five, obviously losing to Joshua. That probably dropped his rating. And guys like Ortiz rated number one. Even Alexander Ustinov, who was supposed to fight Ortiz at a time, but I think the fight got scrapped for one reason or another, promotional things or whatnot. And even Shannon Briggs are in the top three. Shannon Briggs has his own fight, though. He's fighting the number four ranked WBA guy, Fress Oquindo, right? And then Klitschko dropped to five after getting knocked out. So... Let me take it back just a little bit. The heavyweight division is a lot going on. Tyson Fury was the first to beat Vladimir Klitschko in a gang of years, almost a decade. He beat him. It wasn't the type of fight like Joshua Klitschko, but he did what he had to do. He used some feints, he used his size, and he outboxed Klitschko, right? Boom. He's a champion. Then they were supposed to rematch. There was there was rumors that Tyson Fury wasn't taking training camp serious for the rematch, that he was not focused and stuff like that. And it later came out, though they postponed it. And then it was supposed to happen late 2016, I think October or November. And then it came out that he had failed a drug test, right, for cocaine. He had cocaine in his system. Tyson Fury, when he beat Klitschko, he became the WBA belt holder. He had all the belts that Klitschko had, right? 
but he was forced to relinquish those belts because he failed a drug test. So you can't honor a belt or you can't represent any of these belts when you, you're not even you're not clean, you're not passing. So he had his own situations to deal with outside of the ring. So he relinquished his belt so he didn't get stripped of them. So that's how the belt became available. When they made Joshua Klitschko big money fight, 90,000 people in Wembley, they 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 fought for the vacant WBA belt. So it was known that the winner of this fight would have to fight the person who is the number one mandatory. They would have a mandatory in this particular situation. They fought for the vacant belt. Joshua obviously won, like I said, and that's where we are today. Ortiz is rated number one. He wants his shot. And when you have a performance like Joshua, it's it's a mixed bag because Joshua, he did great. You know what I mean? He was in there with somebody who sparred him that was more advanced as a pro, even though they're both gold medalists and whatnot. But Klitschko, he got some tricks up his sleeve. And Klitschko, was, he was like hashtag obsessed. He was clearly focused for the fight. He was in some of the best shape he's been, kept his weight down. Joshua came in a little bit heavy. But the good thing is people are on your side. Oh, you're, you know what I mean? Everyone wants to be around the winner. Bad side is just like any champion, Keith Thurman, when he beat Danny Garcia. There's a bullseye on your back. You got two belts. People want those belts. And the bad side is guys like Luis Ortiz, he's not getting any younger and he's getting impatient. He's like, man, I want my shot. I want my crack at this because he watched the fight. And immediately after he says that Klitschko let him off the hook in that fifth, sixth round, he let him off the hook. I'm not... I'm not quite 41, even though Ortiz is, is older, like late 30s, I believe. He's like, I'm not 41. I wouldn't have let him off the hook. It wouldn't have been that type of fight with me. I would have knocked him out. You know what I mean? And I even heard people like Chris Bird say Shannon Briggs would have knocked Joshua out. So that's that's the only problem. So this is why Joshua has these, these people on him, because he's the man. And you can't fault Luis Ortiz for it. I would be mad too because you got to look at it. Step aside money is is really bullshit. It's it's a, it's like hush money. It's like a way to shut you up, kind of. But you got to look at it. You could get some step aside money. So some people look at small pictures and some people look at big pictures. Small pictures. Some people are like, oh, I would just take it. I don't even have to fight. No, I'll get a hundred thousand, right? Whatever the the amount they offer. I don't know how that works, but. They're like, okay, 100,000. So 100,000 to not do anything. Okay, cool. So it sounds great, but that's small picture. You got to look at the big picture. The big picture is 100,000 is nothing to Joshua who just made, I don't even know how much he made. Let's say 15 to 40 million versus Klitschko. So 100,000 is not going to cost you. So you, you basically pay someone some step aside, aka hush money that didn't, wasn't even like a large chunk. It's not like you gave him 20 million to to not fight you, right? So you probably get 100,000, 250,000, maybe even something you could write off for your taxes because I'm sure they, these guys got attorneys and lawyers and stuff that, that look into all that. So anyway, you give them this money and then you pursue, let's say, a Klitschko rematch. So he got the 100,000 for not working, but that's the small picture. The big picture is how much money can Luis Ortiz make as a champion if he knocks out Joshua? And I'm not saying this would happen. I'm just giving you the Ortiz experience and letting you know why he'd be frustrated because he feels he can knock out Joshua and beat him. So that 100,000 ain't shit. You know what I mean? Because if you fight Joshua, they would probably offer you more than 100,000. You know what I mean? Joshua is a big enough name where it can sell out a venue. People, boxing fans at least know who Ortiz is. So you would get a purse for that fight. Plus, if you defeat him, you would have a new piece of hardware, the WBA belt and the IBF belt. And now you're you're growing in, in popularity and star power. So that's kind of how it works with, with the hush money and the, the step aside money. It, it might sound great, but it's actually, it's kind of just setting you back. It, it's cool to collect money for a fight you haven't had to fight, but it's just a way to keep you on the back burner. And... Ortiz is not getting any younger. He's like 38, and that's if his age is, is what it says, is what he says. You know what I mean? He might even be older. That's some sometimes when the Cubans defect, they don't know their, or they lie about their age or whatever. So that's just what it is. I mean, he could step aside for whatever amount of money, but the reason he doesn't want to is because he wants the opportunity. He wants the opportunity to show he's the better fighter and become a champion of two belts. 
and he was promised this I, again i did the video four months ago you guys seen it on the screen and he was supposed to be in line so it's just how would you feel if you were in line for a promotion at your job and then they said oh right right before christmas we're going to give you that promotion johnny and then you bust your ass all year and then christmas comes and you're supposed to get that promotion and they're like yeah uh, we're not going to you know what i mean he's like what do i do all this work for that's why these fighters especially a guy like ortiz this is no shade this is no disrespect i fuck with luis ortiz i like luis ortiz but his name is not as big as tyson fury anthony joshua deontay wilder and he need he he's he needs a belt more so than like a Canelo. Canelo Alvarez is a multimillionaire. He can sell out fifty one thousand seats fighting a Liam Smith. You know what I'm saying? He has proven star power, so he doesn't really need a belt. That's why he gave away his belt to Golovkin, and the month after or weeks after he did that, he had fifty one thousand people come out to see him fight a nobody. Not not a nobody in that. I don't mean to disrespect Liam Smith like that, but a, a non namer in Liam Walsh he had 51,000 people after he vacated his belt Ortiz and the most fighters unless you are that Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao Cotto or Canelo type celebrity Joshua now maybe even it's not like that you need you need incentive you need like a belt helps you you know what I mean guys like Jared Swift heard guys like King Kong Ortiz a belt is going to help you land bigger paydays and big fights because now you bring something to the table right and it's, it sucks because a lot of the cubans is harder for them to get a fan base because of where they come from they come from cuba where you can't turn pro you know what i mean you can't be a pro boxer so other people other cubans that have defected you know what i mean other cuban athletes joel romero or you know what i mean whoever else gamboa those people who come to the states might support you but it's not the same as think about how many people from mexico migrate to the u.s come to cali come to texas you know what i mean different areas of the world stuff like that arizona right so they can come in in full force to support the canelos and the other fighters who have also migrated because of the way their their government is set up versus cuba you know what i'm saying so the cubans i'm not saying they don't have fans but their fans are different because some of their fans are back at home and you know what i mean this is a place where internet and tv not everyone is allowed to have and was allowed to have and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so of course ortiz needs he needs the big fights he needs the hardware to get him the recognition that he deserves and and again he was in line how would you feel like if you were in line for a promotion and then comes time for it they they stiff you for it and like ah we don't feel like giving you the promotion and joshua talking about fighting tyson fury who who was binge partying you know what i mean doing coke and stuff like that how how did you know what i mean what's the point of rankings this is how they're thinking about it what's the point of rankings if a guy who did coke and gained an excess amount of weight like tyson fury might be able to just just bounce back because he's a trash talker he speaks english and he has a name a big name he might be able to talk his way into the fight with with anthony joshua just off the strength of that that's the politics behind boxing that is why Luis Ortiz is mad because what you know what I mean what's the point of rankings if you don't have to honor it and you don't have to fight him plus he probably feels he can beat Joshua which I mean you have to make the argument it's, it's a possibility definitely Luis this is a possibility Luis Ortiz can beat anybody at heavyweight you know what I mean one punch can change this whole game for any of these heavyweights I haven't seen one person with no adamantium chin that I've never seen hurt and stuff like that actually I don't, I don't really with with given his competition i haven't really seen ortiz hurt like like i've seen wilder hurt versus eric molina joshua hurt versus klitschko and then also versus dillian white so tyson fury got dropped by a cruiserweight steve cunningham but that's what it is that's why luis ortiz is upset he wants his shot he wants his opportunity and that's why he's trying to take it to another level and put the put the the flame to Joshua's feet and Eddie Hearn. And he was just with Eddie Hearn. He was with Matchroom. Now he's with Al Heyman. And he's like, I don't want no step aside money because step aside money is cool. But at the end of time end of the day, how much more money would you have if you knock out Joshua? You know what I mean? Like Highlander, you would inherit his power. So that's my take on it. Hopefully he gets his shot and gets an opportunity. But I mean the man is ranked. You know what I mean? And that's that's the politics of boxing. That's why these guys are mad. Look at Golovkin. 
Golovkin was mad when he wanted to fight Cotto. He wanted to fight Sergio Martinez. And they kept standing him up. And then Sergio fought Cotto. And then Cotto fought, who did he fight? Daniel Gill. Then he fought Canelo. You know what I mean? So everybody's eating. Everybody's making money and skirting around as if Golovkin didn't exist at that time. Right? That's why he's mad. Golovkin had been the mandatory for that WBC belt since Marco Antonio Rubio. And he was having to chase Cotto and Sergio Martinez to no avail. He never to this day has he fought him. Now he's fighting Canelo, which is cool because but Canelo gave up his belt too last year. You know what I mean? So that's why these guys are upset. Like Triple G's probably looking at it at the time, like, man, how can I become the A side if I can't even fight one of these known bigger names, Sergio Martinez, Miguel Cotto, Canelo's giving me his belt. How can I become the A side? And a bigger star if none of the bigger stars are giving me the shots because they don't want to take the risk. That's how Ortiz feels. Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Heavyweight division, a lot going on. Let me know what you want to see next. That's my assessment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.